Hello viewers, uh, last time uh, we saw that uh, the Cauchy Riemann equations uh, were necessary for a function to be differentiable. So, let us start uh, this session uh, with an example where the Cauchy Riemann equations fail, so that we can conclude that the function is not differentiable. So, uh, let me start with this example uh, f of x plus i y. So, z is x plus i y equals x minus i y. This is the function uh, which is essentially the conjugation of a, a complex number. Okay. So, this, is, this definition is for all x plus i y belongs to the complex numbers. Okay. So, f of z is z bar. Okay. So, in this case uh, u which is the real part of f is the function x and v which is the imaginary part of the function f is uh, minus y. Okay. So, that uh, the partial of u with respect to x is 1 and the partial of uh, v with respect to x is 0, partial of u with respect to y is 0 and the partial of v with respect to uh, y is minus 1. Okay. And clearly, uh, dou u by dou x is not equal to uh, dou v by dou y at any point x comma y. Okay. So, since the Cauchy Riemann equations are not being satisfied at any point uh, z in the complex plane, we conclude uh, so uh, f of z equals z bar is not differentiable. at any point in the complex plane. So, Cauchy Riemann equations are sometimes useful uh, to note when a function is uh, actually not differentiable. Okay. So, um, next uh, we will see an example. Uh, this is an example of a different kind. In this example, we will see uh, that the Cauchy Riemann equations are satisfied, but something strange happens. Okay. So, uh, consider this function f defined as follows f of z is uh, the conjugate of z squared divided by z. If z is not equal to 0 okay, and it is equal to 0 if z is equal to 0. Okay. So, we can uh, write this in the form f of x plus i y. Okay. So, this definition is clearly uh, for all complex numbers because this is for z not equal to 0 and this is for z equals 0. Okay. So, that covers all complex numbers. Okay. So, when we write this in the form f of x plus i y in order to separate the uh, real and imaginary parts of this function, what we get is we get x q minus 3 x y squared. Uh, the viewer can work this out okay, by writing z as x plus i y okay. and then uh, this is divided by x squared plus y squared plus i times y cube minus 3 x squared y divided by x squared plus y squared when or let me write if z is not equal to 0 here z is x plus i y okay, and this is 0 if z is equal to 0. Okay. So, uh, I, since I yeah, so z equals x plus i y. So, I am using z equals x plus i y. So, uh, with this uh, with this definition, we see that uh, at the point uh, z equals 0, let us try to calculate the partial derivatives of, uh, let me write down explicitly, the real part of f and the imaginary part of f. 
the real part of f is x cube minus 3 x y square by x square plus y square and uh, if z is not equal to 0 okay, and v is the imaginary part of f is y cube minus 3 x square y by x square plus y square. Okay. So, using this we can uh, now calculate uh, the partial derivatives of uh, u, uh, v etcetera at the point 0 0. Okay. So, the, the partial derivative of u. Okay, uh, so, let me also write the other case u is equal to 0 if z is equal to 0, this is useful for us v is 0 if z is equal to 0. Okay. So, the partial derivative of uh, u with respect to x at the point 0 0 is the limit as some h goes to 0 u of h comma 0 minus u of 0 comma 0 divided by h. Okay. So, which is we can calculate easily limit as h goes to 0, let us substitute uh, x equals h and y equals uh, 0 uh, for the first expression u of h 0, we get h cube divided by h square. Okay. So, I am substituting uh, h comma 0 in this expression here. Okay. So, we get h cube by x square okay, by h square rather minus u of 0 0 well u of 0 0 is uh, 0 divided by h. Okay. So, this is as we can see the limit is 1. Okay. Likewise, we can calculate u y of 0 0 which is the limit as h goes to 0 u of uh, 0 comma h minus u of 0 comma 0 divided by h. Okay. So, this uh, gives us limit as h goes to 0 and when we substitute 0 comma h in the expression for u here, okay, we get uh, 0 okay, and then minus um, 0 by h squared actually. So, that is 0 okay, and then uh, this is 0 by h which is 0. Okay. Likewise, we can calculate v x of 0 0 which will turn out to be 0 and v y of 0 0 which will turn out to be 1. Okay. So, indeed uh, u x equals v y or let me u x at 0 0 is equal to v y at 0 0 is equal to 1 and u y at 0 0 is equal to v x at 0 0 is equal to 1 0 rather. Okay. But, uh, what is uh, interesting is that, uh, but f is not differentiable at 0. Okay. This has to do with the fact that uh, the partial derivatives only respect two directions okay, and we can approach 0 in several directions. Okay. So, let us see why f is not differentiable at the point 0. Okay. So, here if h approaches, so now h is a complex number. Okay. So, h uh, belongs to a complex number okay, approaches uh, 0 through uh, real numbers. Okay. Then um, limit as h goes to 0, h belongs to uh, real numbers. Okay. So, h is a complex number which is a real number now. Okay. f of 0 plus h uh, minus f of 0 by h is uh, limit as h goes to 0, h belongs to r. Since, h is a real number, uh, it only has um, well uh, the from the definition of uh, f, we can calculate what f of 0 plus h is, okay, we get h cube by h squared minus 0 by h which gives us 1. Okay. So, now uh, it would not be very helpful uh, to see what happens when h approaches 0 
uh, through purely imaginary numbers that would give us the same kind of result. But instead what we will do is let us uh, take h okay, uh, in the complex numbers um, approaching 0. So, if h approaches 0 through uh, numbers of the form t plus i t a one parameter uh, complex number t plus i t. So, these are complex numbers uh, which lie on a 45 degree line uh, with the positive x axis. Okay. So, these are on the line y equals x in the in the plane uh, x y plane. Okay. So, uh, they are they can be parameterized as uh, t plus i t. Right. So, let us assume that h approaches 0 through uh, those kind of numbers. Then, um, okay, okay, where t approaches zero. Of course, when when h approaches zero, uh, this one parameter number t plus i t uh, should be such that t approaches zero in order for it to go to zero, or in order for it to approach zero. Okay, so where t goes to zero, then uh, let us see what happens to this limit limit t goes to 0, t belongs to r, t is a real number. Okay. So, that t plus i t is a complex number like I described and then you get f of 0 plus t plus i t. Now, notice h is t plus i t minus f of 0 divided by h. So, in this case I have t plus i t. Okay. So, this gives me the limit as t goes to 0, t belongs to real numbers. Uh, we have used the formula for uh, f in terms of the real and imaginary parts to get t cube minus 3 t squared by 2 t squared plus i times uh, t cube minus 3 t cube divided by, uh, sorry this is t cube minus 3 t cube here. t cube t cube minus 3 t cube by 2 t squared plus i times t cube minus 3 t cube divided by 2 t squared divided by um, t plus i t. So, it is symmetric and let us calculate the quotient we get this is the limit as t goes to 0 t belongs to r. Okay. Uh, let me go up a little bit okay. t cube minus 3 t cube is minus 2 t cube divided by 2 t squared. So, that gives me minus t and then uh, plus i times likewise minus t. So, this is minus i t divided by t plus i t. So, this is limit as t goes to 0 t belongs to r. Since, t is not equal to 0, I can divide uh, these numbers to get a minus 1 okay, and then this limit is minus 1. So, we have two different directions of approaching 0 and this quotient, the limit of the quotient gives us different results as we can see. Okay. So, once it is 1 and uh, another time it is minus 1. Okay. So, f is not differentiable. At z equals 0. Right, because uh, this quotient in the limit should give us the same number uh, independent of which direction uh, h approaches 0. Okay. So, here we have picked two directions one is the 45 degree line and another is the uh, real numbers through which h approaches 0, but we get different answers. Okay. So, f is not differentiable at this point z equals 0. Okay. So, uh, this tells us that Cauchy Riemann equations. Uh, can uh, can be held, okay, uh, but still the function need not be differentiable. Or in other words, the Cauchy Riemann equations are not sufficient conditions to uh, ensure that the function is differentiable at a point. Okay, so there is a slight modification that we can make that we can make.